Hey guys, Levi from the Rag Company, and welcome back to Details with Levi. This time, we're on the interior of this Honda Accord, and we are going to be getting it ready to sell. So we moved the car into uh, the shop right now. Uh, one thing though, I would have already pulled the mats and pressure washed them. So if you want to do that during your washing step, I would advise it. But for this, we're actually going to pull the mats and we're going to get started on the interior. Uh, first, we'll probably blow it out. Then we'll shampoo the carpets. Then we'll actually start scrubbing and cleaning all the plastics, leather, and vinyl surfaces. So door panels, dash, center console, all that good stuff. We are going to be using compressed air. We are going to be using our detail factory brushes. And we're also going to be using VLBs and 365s. And we're going to be using O&R mix 256 to 1 to clean the interior as well as power clean mixed 30 to 1. So that way we're going to be using any of the products that you can actually buy from our website and hopefully get the exact same results. Now this car is not too bad but it is going to take a while so thankfully I uh, brought some friends with me. All right how's it going guys? Amazing. Woo, the dusty car. So this car is really dusty and uh, so I'm using two different types of air guns to blow out a majority of the dirt and dust and debris then we'll go over it with the vacuum. Uh, we'll blow it out again one more time just to get the rest of this stuff out of here. Uh, but the main thing is just some of this old laid in dirt that we need to get rid of first so that way we don't hit other spots and that causes dust to land on surfaces and things like that that maybe we already cleaned. So, that's why I'm trying to blow out as much of the fabrics as possible, which is the headliner and the carpet, uh, just to try and loosen some of that. We'll come in with our vacuum, vacuum it up, we'll shampoo it, and once we start steaming and wiping everything, that will help neutralize a lot of that dust and debris and get it out. Alright guys, so while Levi is vacuuming inside the car, I'm going to get started on these mats. So with that compressed air gun, dirty mat here, I'm going to blow out all the debris, sand, dirt, things like that first. And then we're going to vacuum it before we get to the actual scrubbing because we don't want to be scrubbing that dirt and sand and all that stuff back into the mat. So that gives us a good starting point, at least we've blown out most of that debris. I'm going to wait till Levi is done with that vacuum, then we can suck anything else out before we get into the actual scrubbing with chemicals.
vacuum is a little bigger than what we would normally use. This is not really a uh, detailing style vacuum. This is definitely more industrial type. We're gonna make it work. We're working with what we got here. So flick on our big switch here. Ah! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, just kidding. And we're just gonna come down and just start vacuuming. Jeez, this thing is pretty freaking strong. Oh. All right guys, so we're ready to begin the scrubbing process. We're gonna handle this pretty generically with an all-purpose cleaner, uh, also known as Power Clean here, diluted 30 to one, just like Levi was using on the interior here. So what we're gonna do, make sure it's pumped up. We have it in our multi-sprayer. We're gonna lay it on, not too thick, not too thin. We don't wanna overly saturate it, but we just wanna get it on there nice and good, and so, let it sit for just a couple seconds. It's gonna to begin to work and break down and emulsify all of that dirt and oil and things like that that this mat has picked up over the years. Once we've done that, we can spray a little bit into a stiff bristle brush here. This is our interior brush. And then from there, we can begin agitating it and slowly start to build a lather. Now, once you start building that lather, it's gonna be lifting a lot of that dirt and grime, so it's nice to have a secondary towel, such as an Edgeless 365, to wipe that up, and then any moisture that's left, we can extract that with the vacuum. And we can go back and forth, side to side, left to right. And then from there, take our towel, I'm gonna show you what kind of grime you'll pick up here with just power clean in a brush. Nice. See that? Yeah. I need this for a second. Oh, all right, that's fine. I'll just keep going. We don't have any more of those lying around? No, I think we're all out. All right, huh? stop buying them people. All right, just kidding. And so you can do this any way you want. It's pretty easy to see where you have gone and where you need to go, mainly for the fact that once you start agitating, you're gonna to start to see that lather build up, and you can say, hey, that's kind of like my guideline on where I need to go or where I've been. So spraying it down a little bit more. If you see any like focused areas that do have a dark stain, like there's one right here, I'm gonna spray a little bit more there, let that soak, let that sit for a little bit, and then begin scrubbing again. The whole goal, the reason we're doing this is we want to be able to show you guys at home that you can use, you don't have to have professional equipment to detail a car or professional equipment to detail an interior. So you don't need big, heavy hot water extractors. You know, those are best left for the professionals who are actually running a business. Uh, this is all just to show you guys what you can do uh, with a few tools, a little bit of elbow grease, and uh, hopefully be able to make you a little bit of money. All right, then we're gonna take our towel again here fold that up, and then just begin wiping again. So I'm pulling up a ton of stuff here on this gold 365. But I'm immediately seeing a difference here. I mean, you can see. That's nasty. That's what I pulled off that towel. Uh, or at least I pulled off that mat there and went gathered onto the towel, so that's pretty gross there. Now from here, with the mat still damp, the best way to handle this is just to take our vacuum again and just dry extract any moisture that's left. And technically, we could be done at that point, so I wanna show you what that looks like. Now from here, we have a pretty clean mat. I mean, I'd give it like a seven out of 10, so it's not bad. For what you can do at home with just a brush, some chemical product, and a vacuum, this is pretty good, it looks pretty decent. Yeah. And so to emphasize this and to make it look like it's freshly clean, yeah, should we put some lines in it. Put some lines in it, just to, just to show them. You know, some people now, like this, some people don't. Before you do that, you can do this if you take it to, the pressure, to a car wash and you use a pressure washer. You can pull the mats, pressure wash them, yep. hang them up, let them dry. Uh, you can scrub them with a brush, you can vacuum them out, suck out all that water, then hang dry, yeah. or put lines in them and then hang dry them. 
Uh, and the sun, if it's warm, just pull them out in the sun, they'll dry quick. Yep. So go ahead, throw some right. lines in there and make it look pretty. So we're gonna go down, then we're gonna go up, down, and up. You can also do this with a vacuum. Like it. Just like that. So now we're gonna show you if you wanna use a carpet extractor, you can. This is a small little Bissell spot clean. You can pick them up at any of the Home Depot stores or uh, Walmart or Target or any of those uh, department stores have them. This little guy I bought, I use it at home, uh, around the house, as well as on a vehicle when I need to actually fully shampoo carpets. Um, this is the closest I can get to that. Uh, but it's economical, it's inexpensive, and it actually does quite a good job for what it is. Um, I only use hot water and O&R in here, mixed at 256 to one. Uh, so what that means is sometimes I do need a pre-soak or pre-treater uh, for carpets. So in the Honda, for instance, I've already gone around with that, with the iCase Multi with 30 to one uh, power clean, misted all the carpets down, and I've already hit them with a brush and given them a good scrub as well as blown them out and vacuumed them. So they're already fairly clean and with a darker colored carpet, there's not, you don't need to go that uh, heavy into your carpet cleaning as you would on a light colored, like a tan or a cream colored interior. So with this charcoal gray, uh, this is simple, easy. Anything we do is just gonna make it that much better. So this has a few little coffee stains on it here and here. Um, I think Anthony already sprayed this, but we'll spray it again just to get it started. So again, power clean 30 to one in the IK Multi. I take the little brush. Just give it a good scrub. Then I'm gonna turn this little guy on and it's basically we're gonna spray solution out of here. We're gonna have our little brushes to agitate as we pull and it's gonna suck back up. Now, I can get this just to actually wash the carpet basically, and then I can pick it up with the vacuum uh, to do a final suction uh, and get a lot of that water out. And we're gonna mimic the exact same process on the inside of the vehicle, so. some lines in it. And so because this is on a floor mat, we can just leave this out here in the sun and let it dry. But if we're gonna be doing it on the inside of the car, we are gonna to have to use our shop vac to kind of suck some of that uh, water out of the fabric in the carpet. So. It's really the only difference we're gonna be doing, but you can see the extractor has already cleaned the mat a little bit better than uh, just dry brushing with some uh, product on the, on the surface, so. So Levi and Anthony just finished up with their mats and it turned out really well, so I th think I'm gonna try it out for myself. So we'll see how this goes. they're out there working. I'm gonna use a little O&R mixed at 256 to one on the interior that is plastics and leather. This, these plastics are in good shape, they're just dusty. So they just need a light cleaning. We don't need to use a heavy cleaner on this. 
The leather is still in good shape because the windows are tinted on it. So again, same thing. We're not gonna use any harsh chemicals or cleaners. We're just using plain old O&R. So I'm just gonna give everything a light mist. I'll bust out some brushes and we'll start scrubbing. wonder is uh, what do you do about blowing compressed air into speaker grills? Well, if you didn't notice, my hand is at an angle, therefore the air is at an angle, and I'm basically brushing at an angle. And if you put your hand in front of it, you can actually feel the amount of pressure that's actually, that, that is realistically hitting the speaker. I'm not sticking this straight in, pulling the trigger to blow holes through the uh, filters on that side. So also, you're probably wondering why the window's down. And this is the silly one. You don't know how many times people have locked keys or employees of mine have locked keys in vehicles because they didn't roll at least one window down while working on the interior. Because at any time, your hand can hit this lock and unlock button and you're not paying attention and you shut the door to walk around to the other side and you accidentally locked it. So, fun little fact, keep the windows down when you're working on a tier so you never get locked out. It's kind of fun because we're playing detail shop today. You get all the sights and sounds of what we're trying to make a detail shop. So you got Levi over there on the air compressor. Give us a couple of horn honks, Levi. Hit it. There we go. Another one. Woo! Hey, I didn't see you there. So the VLB is one of my favorite things for cleaning door panels. So all those pesky scuffs that you get down on your lower kickers here, this will help remove a lot of those that are just kind of dirt and rubber buildup. If they're deeper scratches in the plastic, kind of out of luck. But for the most part, this makes a lot of things disappear and you'd be very surprised what kind of scuffs are easy to remove using this tool here. So with a little bit of O&R on the surface here, you don't need much. You can also spray the surface if you want. Kind of let that begin soaking there. I can take my brush and I can begin agitating it in circles you can scrub like a normal human being whatever you want to do but that right there it's kind of funny because you'll actually start to see a lot of that dirt and grime drip off and a lot of these droplets that were once blue are going to be brown pretty crazy guys so everybody's working away so we got Morgan over here working on the next carpet we got Levi in here wiping down some headliner as you can see so he's knocking out this full interior pretty fast he's already about halfway there he's already compressed everything he's already vacuumed most of it and he's going through and he's wiping down leather and wiping down plastic panels we're making some pretty good headway on this still have to knock out the trunk and we still have to knock out the door panels but other than that I think this is going pretty well I think I've done more than my part with cleaning that one mat, but yeah. So let's go ahead and check on everybody else and see how they're doing. So Morgan, we could walk up and go, oh yeah, this looks great. However, full inspection of this door panel. Jimmy, if you get in right in here, there's a whole lot of dirt all around this edge here. You can get into these little cracks and crevices around here, as you can see right there, all around this edge still a lot of dirt and debris. So these are things we need to make sure and that's why we are detailers is we got to get those details. So
All right guys, so with our steamer warmed up and in hand, we're ready to go. So the beauty of using a steamer is the fact that you can actually eliminate a lot of the other chemicals that you would have to use on the interior. Now for the steamer, you can use this on all plastic panels, you can use it on seats, you can use it on other upholstery, you can use it on carpets, you can use it on rubber mats, you can literally use it on almost everything. And what's great is that it's not only safe, but it's also extremely effective. So in the steamer, we do have a couple drops of O&R, which is gonna help with the scaling on the inside of the steamer, but we do have distilled water in here as well. So after this is heated up, we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna grab myself an Edgeless 365 here. Now I'm going to shoot away from me to make sure I do have steam coming out and not just liquid, that we're ready to go. So steam up our towel here to get it damp. And then we're gonna find an area on the panel that we wanna start and begin steaming without overly saturating an area. We're gonna be wiping as we're steaming. all the cracks and crevices here. And so these panels are leather on here and it is safe for this leather. I'm not digging the tip of the steamer into the leather because it can get very hot. I'm keeping it away around several inches just to get the product on there and to heat up the panel. So pretty simple here. Can be laying this down some steam. This will help remove any of the old. Whoo, whoo! Get a little warm there. <laughs> All right. So that's feeling a lot better. All right, you want to blow out these vents? You ready for this? So turn this on. All right guys, so we just finished steaming some of the interior bits and pieces. So we knocked out these door panels here. We got Morgan on that other door panel and I showed you how to steam clean your steering wheel and steam out your vents. So the car is smelling a lot better because when you steam O&R, it smells pretty good. So the last thing that we need to do is add protection to the car. So we're gonna make sure to add some UV protection with Optimum Protectant Plus, and we are gonna use that on the leather, we're gonna use that on the door panels. It's gonna add some UV protection and also help condition the leather and the plastic to keep it from fading and cracking. So Morgan has yet to use Protectant Plus, and I think it'd be a fun product for her to try out for the first time. It smells like leather, looks like leather, feels like leather, it's a good product. I think she's gonna like it. So we're gonna grab some 365s, grab some of the product and have her go at it. All right guys, so I'm gonna give Morgan a quick tutorial on how to use the Optimum Leather Protectant. It used to be Optimum Protectant Plus. They changed the name and that's all right. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We're gonna give it a couple sprays here onto our towel. One spray, two sprays onto the leather itself and then we're gonna be spreading it in. I have a backup towel here as my knockdown towel. If there's any extra greasy residue left over, I'm gonna knock it down with this. But for the most part, this should finish out to a nice satin finish. So getting inside here, you can see that it does add a little sheen to it, but it's nothing overly excessive. It's anything, it's more of like a nice new sheen, but it smells good, right? Mm -hmm. it smells like a leather, like a clean, fresh leather, something like that. So wiping it on, and then what I'll do is I'll take my backup towel here as my knockdown towel, and then just finish it out and blend that in to where there's no extra shiny high spots.
Well, we got the interior done, we got it cleaned, and it's ready to go. All the main interior stuff is done. Uh, we still have the exterior to do on this, so we still gotta polish and, and uh, maybe do some wet sanding and things like that. So we're not completely done with this car. It's finished, it's ready to go, and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys kind of learned some things and got an idea and a feel of how to use different tools, different products, and the best way to clean leather interior and uh, your everyday carpeted uh, floor mats and things like that. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, for more videos, stay tuned right here, the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.